Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about 10 useful shortcuts that I've learned over the years from FL and I'm sure it's going to be very useful for you guys. So stick around. <laughs> it's e piano. So the first one is going to be Control L. You know, sometimes when we have when we have so many things here and we want to route them to our mixer, what we do most times is we just say, like scroll here and it comes here. So, right? But a better way of doing it is or a, a, a shortcut that you can use to do that is just by clicking Control L, you know? So if you're here and you want to bring it to, say you want to bring it to, channel 4 all you need to do is control l and it comes to channel 4 so that that's very useful second one is just like the control l that we talked about but like it's on a larger scale say for instance you have multiple things on your channel rack like um this let's let's just add a couple of sounds here all right i want to route everything to say we want to route from Channel 5, 2, 6, 7, 8. So what we do is select all of them like this. Then come here, click the channel you want it to start from and click Control shift then L. Then it brings everything here, right? So that's number two. Number three is, uh, this one is actually a pretty popular one. Um, Control B for double. Say, for instance, we have, um, let's see, let's do this. We have, we have this, 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 no? All right? And we want it to be double. You, all you need to do is click, click Ctrl A to select everything and press Ctrl B to double it, right? You can double it as much as you want. If you want to double all of this, click Ctrl A again and Ctrl B and it all doubles up, right? All right, so for number four, this one is actually a very, very cool trick that I've learned. Um, if you come here in your playlist, you see that all these things here have different functions. For instance, this one is your cut tool. For instance, you want to cut something like this. You can always cut it like that. But what I, what I notice is, instead of you to come here every time to pick your paint tool or your cutting tool, you can just use... Make sure this, this particular button is, is not active. Click it off, then you can press C and it turns to this. If you press... Or let me just say this is just number four and five. If you press B, it goes back to your paint. So now you can paint as much as you want. If you press C, it goes back to your cutting tool, right? Now, let me give you a trick with this cutting tool. If you click, if you right click to cut, right? It's gonna cut into two, but if you want it to cut and delete, left, um, right click, I mean, right click to cut, you know? And to cut and delete, like this, like this, and that's all. All right, so the sixth one that we're gonna be talking about is Shift-Alt-C. So when you come to your channel rock, you can actually mark all the all the um, sounds you want to color. Then click Shift Alt and C. Then to give you an option to what you want the first and the last to be. So if you select the same color, everything is gonna be colored the same, All right? Or if you if you do if you choose a different color, then it's gonna give you a gradient kind of feel. All right, so. The seventh one that we're going to be talking about is going to be Ctrl Q. Ctrl Q means, it's basic. It just means to quantize. Take for instance, this is not, this is not standing, it's not on, on the right path. You can just mark it and just Ctrl Q. Ctrl Q will just bounce it back to where it's supposed to be. Now, the eighth one that we're going to be talking about is Ctrl Alt U. Alt U. Now, for instance, this is, this is a note and I want to chop it up. Just press Alt U and it brings out it brings out the chopper tool. So you can chop it up as much as you want, you know? 
And that's 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 it.